Father, I want to say thank you. We give you praise, glory, and an honor, an honor. We adore you because you alone deserve praise. You deserve our worship. You deserve glory. You deserve honor. And Lord, we come to you this morning, Father Lord, with our whole hearts bare to you, Lord. And we asking, oh God, that you become everything to us this day. Lord, help us, O oh God, to serve you in spirit and in truth. Help us, O oh God, Lord, to seek you with all our heart. Help us not to lean onto our own understanding and that in all our ways we may acknowledge you, walk in us both the will and to do of your good pleasure. Father, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will be everything to us, O oh God, Lord, even from this day henceforth, we thank you. We glorify your name for life. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your glory. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, Jehovah, because of the fact that we are yours, O oh God. We thank you because you first loved us. We thank you, Lord, because you sent your only begotten son to die for us oh god we thank you for the life that we enjoy we thank you for the new birth oh god we just bless and exalt your name hallowed be your name forevermore in jesus name we have worshiped and prayed amen and amen today's communion service uh, i want you to get your emblem so we can break bread together I want you to know that the Bible makes us to understand that we are meant to do this in remembrance of Christ Jesus. Uh, we're still on our 70 day challenge, 10 books in 10 weeks. I pray that God is helping you to do so. I want to remind us also that in the month of November, we are doing our 40 day fast i just want you to begin to pray toward it okay you can do all things through christ who strengthens you just pray keep praying about it we're also going to be doing um a leadership school in the month of november by his grace um, so if you are interested in that leadership school please um, just put your heart to it, pray about it, and watch out for the upcoming events on the app, Just Flaky, please. Um, the app is very important to us, so you do not um, go around, okay, trying to find us. Once you have the app, it's so easy to know everything the PFOM is doing, to know everything that Just Flaky is doing it's so important please 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 do this for us remember to share the app with your loved ones and remember also to give us a good review udoka thank you for the review i saw it yesterday and please make sure also that you um use the app especially the affirmation on the app every morning and every night it's so important there's also a prophetic voice there Make make sure you can also see uh, there's a Bible there and then Bible studies for the day. And um, we also need people that can help us to make this happen, to get to other people, to reach out. Remember, everything we're doing this week is to generate the power of God and it's in the preaching of the gospel. The more people you lead to Christ, the more glorious your crown in heaven is going to the, I can't even imagine not doing what I'm doing right now. There's so much power given to you when you do the work of the kingdom. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of the things, everything that is on your vision board will be added onto you. What do you want? Healing. You want to travel. You want money. You want relationship. God says, don't make those things a prayer point because I'm going to get them sorted. What I needed to do is seek it first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Bible says that would be time if I don't preach the gospel because it's the power of God 
unto salvation. We're going to be praying some Pauline prayers today, but I just want to share a word with you about, because we the Bible says that greater works shall we do, right? John 14, he says, you shall do greater works. Let me quickly read it again to us so that we don't forget. John 14, 12, the Bible says, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works I do. So we started reading about the works of Jesus. He healed the sick. He cast out demons. He gave the sight to the blind. He healed the crippled person. He calmed the storm. God said, Jesus speaking this word says, you will do greater works. Remember, the Bible says, nothing shall be impossible with God. But he also says to him who believe it, nothing shall be impossible. You will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And I say, when you have the issue, just give yourself a butterfly or lay hands on yourself and say in the name of Jesus, I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am healed. I am whole. I cannot be sick in the name of Jesus. You need to know that God is happy, is, is glorified whenever you decide to teach the manifold wisdom of God to principalities and powers. God wants you to go out there and show his power off. God wants you to go out there and declare his works. Don't be scared. He says, don't worry. I will give you a mouth and a wisdom that your adversary can again say or resist. Greater works shall you do. So important. Because I am going to the Father. Because he's with the Father right now. So whatever you ask in my name, this I will do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. It's so exciting that the reason God is going to do everything I ask is to glorify God. God is glorified when we ask in the name of Jesus for anything. I just want you to go out this weekend in faith and have that in mind that God may be glorified. And so I want you to know that that is our work. And we started reading, you know, the, the book of Matthew because we're digging out the miracles of Jesus to strengthen our faith. He healed the demoniacs in the book of Matthew chapter 8. He healed the paralytic in book of Matthew chapter 9. And I want you to remember also that the healing is the children's bread. Healing is your bread. You should not be sick. You are healed by the stripes of Jesus. You're already healed. It is not in the future tense. It's been given to you. So you are not seeking. You're not pleading, God, heal me. God, heal me. No, you're already healed. The check has been written. Go cash it. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in him that you were healed, you're made whole. Confess it. Let the weak say, I am strong. Stop reporting what you see. Faith calls those things that be not as though they were and they become. Don't pray in the morning and in the evening. You begin to give situation reports. The only situation that is that be right now is that you're healed, you're prosperous, you're delivered. And so when people say, how are you doing? Say, I am strong. I God is faithful. I am healed. Don't say, oh Lord, I don't know what is happening. I pray nothing is going on. Don't say what you see. Say what you want to say. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that you have not seen. What you are hoping for, give it power, give it substance, and speak it in the in to the air. Why? If you speak something negative, the Bible calls Satan the prince of the power of the air. It takes whatever you've said and manufactures it, takes it to his factory and brings it to pass. The power of life and death 
is in your tongue. Deliver yourself. If you are used to saying negativity, the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Begin to put in positive words. That's why you need to always be in this prayer call so you can always get the word of God. Let me tell you the danger of not having the word of God in your spirit because Satan, the demons are always looking for waterless places. So you can afford to let your heart be waterless. I can't imagine. Do you know there are many people who were minding their business. They were just moving around where deliverance was going on and demons jumped out of some people and jumped into some other people. Have you noticed that when you move with people that have some issues, you start having issues too? Because as long as you're a waterless person, I don't even know how any human being can be walking around this earth that is filled with demons without having the word of God in your spirit. Do you see yourself just lose your temper when you're not supposed to lose your temper? Do you see yourself get angry when you're not supposed to get angry? Do you see yourself you know, become lustful when you feel, oh, I'm a child of God. Why am I doing this? Is a waterless ground. It means the demons are manipulating you because you do not have enough water. Uh, let's read the book of Matthew chapter 12. I just want to read a little clip to you. Um, reading from verse 43. The Bible says, now when the unclean spirit has gone out of man, remember, when you're a child of God, the unclean spirit, you don't have unclean spirit. It's gone out of you. But that's just the first point. He said, if, except a man be born again, he cannot see. When you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom. But there is an entrance that you need. You need to enter into the kingdom. And except you are born of the water and of the spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom. And that's where what is so important. You need the word of God. If you want it to stay, you need to study it. You need to confess it. You need to meditate on it. You need to preach it. I'm talking more about preaching the word because when you preach the word, you generate power. You generate power. One, you, you know it more. You can preach it until you've studied it. See, the Bible speaking to Joshua says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, only shall you meditate day and night. That is not why. It just doesn't want you to meditate on the word of God so you can receive miracles. He said, so you might be careful to do everything that is written in it. So you might be careful to do. He says, now when you now do Everything that is written therein. He said, then your way will be prosperous. Everything you do, it will be well with you. And you will have good success. Not a bad success. A good success. The ones that you can retain by the Spirit of God. When an unclean spirit has gone out of a man, it does not die. The spirit of loss, the spirit of pride, the spirit of anger, every demonic spirit, when it goes out, it doesn't die. When you pray for people and spirits go out of them, those spirits do not die. And secondly, they don't give up on you or the person that you're praying for. And that's why men ought always to pray and not to faint. He says, they, it roams through waterless, dry, arid places in search of rest, but it does not find it. It's always going around. Whenever, when you pray against any spirit, it leaves you, it stops. You know, if you're a child of God, you're born of the word of the spirit. It cannot stay in your spirit, man, but it can oppress your soul. And that's why you may be a Christian and you're still having emotional stuff because your soul is being renewed. 
Your soul is not born again. Your soul is being renewed. Your mind is being renewed. This Bible says that make sure that you're transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's a continuous thing. The more word you have, the more you're renewed. On a daily basis, when you stop with the word, you stop getting renewed and your life starts being transformed. He said, present your body to me, a living sacrifice. I need you to submit it to me. You cannot do it by yourself. And so you need to feed your spirit to be able to renew you, to be able to transform you on a daily basis. This book of the Lord shall not depart. You will meditate on it day and night. Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly or stand in the ways of sinners or sit in the seat of his but his delight on, his, on the law of his Lord. Only shall he meditate day and night. Day and night. Study to show yourself approved. There is a reason why God wants you to do this. One of the reasons is the unclean spirit, they walk around, they're looking for a resting place. Not just the one that came out of you, the one that is coming out of other people. There's people that are just driving in front, you know, they're just driving on the road. Have you ever experienced stuff like that? And all of a sudden, there's an argument that is, you know, that bust out and they begin to overreact and they become dramatic. Some demons jumped into the car. Who knows where the demons are coming from? They're looking for a resting place. They're always looking for a resting place. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered today and never they will never return in the mighty name of Jesus. They are moving around. And then you know what? Verse 44, I'm reading Matthew chapter 12. Then it says, the demon, I will return to my house from which I came. How dear demon call your, your temple is house. I will return to my house. That's what demons say. When they go out, they go, they're looking for waterless grounds. They're looking for places that the word does not reside in. They're looking for dry places. Your life cannot afford to be dry. You can read the word of God today and not read tomorrow. It is a day and night affair. Why? One of the reasons so that demons don't jump back into your life. If you're praying for your children, you're praying for your spouses, you cannot stop praying. Why? Because if you pray today and the demons go out there searching. Can I go back to my house? Is there anything filling it? Is it still dry? There is no water there. I can go back there and see what happens. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it arrives, it finds the place unoccupied. Oh, Jesus. It swept and put in order. Now your life is swept, is put in order because you're a child of God and but you do not have water. You are dry. It's in order. You are clean. It says, verse 45, it checks it out. It says, oh my God, so clean. What do I do? If I go in there, they will drive me out again. So I, bought, I got to do something. Verse 45, then he goes and brings with it seven other spirit more wicked than itself god forbid more wicked than itself and they go in and they make their home there and the last condition of that man becomes worse than the first so will it also be with this wicked generation have you seen someone that you believe is changing and all of a sudden, you say, oh my God, he was pretending. Oh my God, she was pretending. You know, we thought the person has changed. No, what happened is the demons that went out came back checking and it was dry. So they came back and the Bible says the, the, the end of that person becomes worse. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. I want you to stay on the word of God. Study to show yourself approved. Get your heart filled. Transform by the renewing of your mind. Stay on the word of God day and night. Fill it up. And the best way is not just to study. You need to meditate on the word and you need to preach. When you preach, you need to get the word of God because you need to study to preach. Do not read the Bible last thing before you sleep when you're already drowsy. Don't read the Bible when you cannot get to sit yourself down. Get your book, get your pen and begin to read and write. Read and write. I've been meeting people that say they don't understand the Bible. I said that's because you're just reading or just listening to audio Bible. You're not sitting down. Study to show yourself approved.
we're going to be praying today remember we're taking our communion please get your emblem ready we're going to take our communion but before then we are going to be praying some Pauline prayers amen we're going to pray for the book of Efficient. I want to remind us that we're doing 10 books in 10 weeks. Take one hour out and read a book. We're also reading the scripture this week and next week. We are going through the works of Jesus because the Bible says greater works shall you do. I want you to be able to go out there, lay hands on the sick, heal the, the sick, you know, raise the dead. I want you to cast out demons from people that are oppressed of the devil. I want you to calm the storm wherever you are. There is distress. I want you to be able to speak and it shall be established the bible says before you are speaking the lord will do it just like it did in the house of cornelius i want you to pray in the spirit much more you're not born again this is your time you need to be born again you're not baptized in the holy ghost this is the time to be baptized in the holy ghost so you can generate power today we're going to be praying from the book of ephesians chapter 3 the Bible makes us to know in Ephesians 3, 14 to 21, for this reason I bow my knees before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner man so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think according to the power at work with us within us, to him the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout the generations forever and ever. Amen. The first prayer point you're going to be praying for yourself is, Lord, strengthen me with power in the inner man. That is my spirit through the Holy Spirit. Go to pray right now. Lord, strengthen me. Strengthen me with power in the inner man, in my spirit. Strengthen me with power by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, strengthen us, O God, in the inner man. Give us strength. Strengthen us with power, O God, Lord. Empower us in the inner man in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Number two, strengthen me so that Christ dwells in my heart through faith. Pray that God will strengthen you in your heart with his power that Christ may dwell in your heart. You don't want Christ just visiting. You want him living there. You want your heart to house Jesus. I want you to pray. The only way that can happen is if you're strengthened with might in the inner man by the Holy Spirit, Christ will, be dwell, will dwell in your heart. It will be formed in your heart. I want you to pray. Christ dwell in my heart by your spirit in my inner man. Lord Christ, Christ, dwell in my heart in the name of Jesus. I want you to dwell. I don't want you to visit. I want you to dwell in my heart. I want you to be formed in my heart. I want to live like you, oh God. I want to be a Christian indeed. I want to speak like you. I want to think like you. I want to act like you because you are formed in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Number three, strengthen me so I can be rooted and grounded in love. And God is love. Strengthen me in the inner man so I can be rooted. I don't want to be uprooted. I don't want to blow hot. I don't want to blow cold. I want to be consistently serving God. I want to be consistent in faith. I want to be consistent in the power of God. I want you to pray that you'll be rooted and grounded. I'm not, I'm immovable. I'm unchangeable. I'm like God. I do not change. I do not fail in the name of Jesus. I am planted in the house of the Lord. I want you to pray that you are rooted and you are grounded in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, my roots is going deep down you, is going deep down in the word in the name of Jesus. I will not sway. My faith is rooted, is grounded in God in the name of Jesus. My faith is rooted and grounded in the love of God. I am rooted in the love of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, mm. Number four, I want you to pray that God will strengthen you in the heart so you can understand with all the saints the depth. 
the and the volume of the love of Christ, Lord. I want to be able to understand how much God's love is for me. I want to be able to understand the love of God with all the saints. I want to be able to comprehend this love. I want to know the length, the breadth, the depth of God's love. If I understand the love of God, I will be I will be sound in faith. If I understand the love of God, I will not doubt God for a second. If I understand that the love of God, I will be rooted and I'll be grounded. I want to pray that you're rooted, you're grounded in the love of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Number five, I want you to pray that God will strengthen you that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. I want to be filled not just with other things. I want the fullness of God, everything that is in God, I want to be filled with it. I want to be filled with the fruit of the Spirit. I want to be filled with love. I want to be filled with joy. I want to be filled with peace. I want to be filled with self-control. I want to be filled with goodness. I want to be filled with kindness. I want to be filled with faithfulness in the name of Jesus. I want to be filled with, with temperance in the name of Jesus. I want to pray that God will fill you with all the fullness of God. With all the fullness, not some of the fullness. I want all of God inside of me in the name of Jesus. Pray that God will fill you with all the fullness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Number six, I want you to pray that you will go out there and do greater works than Jesus did. According to John 14, 12, I want to go out. I want to be able to heal the sick. I pray for the fullness of God, the boldness of God. I want to open my mouth in the name of just wherever I go, I decree a thing. It is established. I go. I am a testimony to the glory of God, to the miracles of God. Diverse signs and wonders, miracles will happen. Wherever I go, my praises, my sweat, my shadow, my clothes, my car carries the anointing of the almighty God. Anyone I speak to, I speak God into their lives, into their heart. No one comes in contact with me and remains the same. I want you to pray that God will fill you, that you will go out there, you will do greater works than Jesus did. I will calm the storm in the name of Jesus. I will heal the sick in the name of Jesus. I will deliver and open prison doors in the name of Jesus. Men are saved just by me coming in contact with them in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray that you are filled with the fullness of God and so you are able to do greater works that Jesus did in the mighty name of Jesus. Number seven, I want you to pray that God will strengthen your faith in the the name of Jesus, that you will not cringe before any situation, but your faith will be strong. Pray that God will help your unbelief in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We are we are going forth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Pray that as you go, you will live, you will not die. Everything you touch will live. Everything will you touch will live. Your family members will live, they will not die. Every member of your family will experience the healing power Power of God, the deliverance of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Everyone God has given to you, they are for signs, uh, they are for wonders in the mighty name of Jesus because you have the fullness of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the eighth, uh, I want you to receive uh, the power to stand for the faith that you have in Christ Jesus. Uh, I will not be ashamed of the gospel. Everywhere I go, everyone I speak to, I speak Christ in the name of Jesus to their lives. Uh, I am not ashamed of the gospel. I will not deny God because I am bold in the name of Jesus. Wherever I go, I represent heaven. Uh, whatever God will do, I will do uh, in the name of Jesus. Wherever I I go, I am God on this earth in the name of Jesus. I have dominion in the name of Jesus. I multiply. I replenish the earth. I subdue the earth in the name of Jesus. The Bible says all of you are God. Psalms 82 says all of you are children of the most high God. The, earth, the Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. But he has given this earth to the sons of God. I possess this earth. The treasures of darkness is converted to me. The fear of me is upon the people. 
Strangers will build my walls in the name of Jesus. They will serve me in the name of Jesus. My sons and my daughters, they will be nursed by kings and queens in the name of Jesus. I arise and I shine for my light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Gentiles will come to my light. Kings will come to the brightness of my rising in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebo Shekelia. My faith, I stand for the faith. I am an ambassador of heaven. Men see me and they see God in the name of Jesus. They're looking for God. When they see me, they've encountered God. All the goodness of God, all the fullness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to take up your communion. On the night he was betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat. This is my body. We are filled with the fullness of God. And we are celebrating it with a communion, with the body of Christ and with the blood of Jesus. I will take this communion. As we take it, we'll walk in your fullness. We walk in healing. We walk in deliverance. We have it so we can give it in the name of Jesus. We take deadly thing, it shall not hurt us in the mighty name of Jesus. As we take it, we bear upon our bodies the mark of Christ. No man can trouble us. Anyone that comes against us will fall for our sakes in the name of Jesus. No weapon from the fashion against us will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that rise up against us, they will be fed with their own flesh uh, and they'll be drunken on their own blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we are covered with bear upon our bodies the mark of Christ even as we take this communion in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Father, we thank you. We pray all these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Go forth. You want to see God's power? Don't be scared. Whenever people are talking to you, always give them Christ. Give them Jesus. Whenever they see anything, always ask them a question. Have you met Christ? As many people as you move to the kingdom, that is the amount of power you generate to be able to do exploits on earth. Your prayer, your vision board, keep them on. Keep writing what you want to become every day. Before you sleep, write them down again. Have cards. I have a lot of cards here that I use a writing stuff. It's so important. I put them here. See, I have cards, 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 cards. The moment I finish now, I, I write the things I need to accomplish today. And I write the thing I want to become. I write them in present tense. I am rich. I am a millionaire. I, uh, I, I am healed. I travel the world. I live in an exotic building. I drive the car. I love to drive. Keep writing things. Write them down. Before you sleep again, write, write, write. The power to do it to bring it to pass, is generated when you seek God first and His righteousness. When you preach the gospel, when you're bold, everything you do, anywhere you are, you are showing off the power of God. Don't show off yourself. Show off God's power and you'll be amazed at what God is going to do. Remember, we're reading 10 books in 10 weeks. Give one hour every day to reading. That's so important. Please exercise too. You need it. I've, I woke up this morning and exercised. I'm going to do some work and go to the gym. Do that for yourself. A healthy body carries a healthy spirit. It's so important that you know that. Represent God wherever you are. Be slow to speak, quick to hear. Remember, we have uh, an app just flicky. There is an affirmation there. And I want us to just do the affirmation together. Um, right now, I, I do it every morning and every night. It's on Just Flaky app. Download it from your app store. And let's just do this together. After me, say, I am a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. I walk in the spirit. I do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I am emotionally intelligent. And I'm becoming a better version of myself through a renewed mind. Mm, hallelujah. 
I have the mind of Christ and I understand the things of the spirit. My past is not an obstacle to my future, but a testimony. I am stronger than any challenge and I choose to make the most of every situation or opportunity. I love God. I love myself and I love people. Today is a good day. Good things will happen to me, for me and through me. I am brimming with energy. I'm overflowing with joy and I embrace who I am. I strive to learn with an open and positive mindset. I am time obedient. I am slow to speak. I am quick to hear and I'm slow to anger. I walk in love, joy and peace. I am good. I am kind and I'm gentle. I'm faithful and I'm patient. I have self-control. I'm walking in God's purpose for my life. I have an excellent spirit. I am a positive influence. I will commit to smiling today in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm Reverend Dr. Lufala K.E.K. I'm the senior pastor of PFOM Positive Influence Family Outreach Ministry and the president of Just Flakey. I want to remind us on Sunday, we're having a seminar. I'm the host. I'm just going to give you everything I have learned over the years. We're talking about mental health. We're talking about marriage and we're talking about um, how to motivate yourself, how to be self-motivated so you can do great things in your life. All these things are connected together. If you're not motivated, you cannot have a good home. So if you're not married, please go to our app and click on the upcoming event and please register. If you're not able to reach out to me, if you want to be there and you don't know how to register, please reach out to me and I will get you in because it's more important that you're part of the conference than it is if you will register. Please make sure it is 3 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. West African Time. You know, gather people together around you and be part of this conference in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our 5.30 a.m. Central Time call to God in prayer. It's 9, it's 11 30 in some other places it's 10 30 some places it's actually 3 a.m in some places as well and i want to thank you i love you so much please keep praying for me pray for my family that god will keep us on the path of righteousness for his name's sake pray for this prayer altar the god will build this church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it i'll see you same time tomorrow i love you god bless you amen and uh,